the symptoms of acute radiation sickness would be just exactly like a terrible flu. A person would have a headache. They would feel very tired. They would have a little bit of a fever. Every type of radiation makes people sick. That's why there are safety limits. That's why there's warning labels near cell towers. And that's why everybody got sick after they rolled out the 5G. There is no such thing as safe radiation. They try to sell it to you that way with 5G saying it's non-ionizing, therefore it's safe. But 5G technology uses microwave radiation. The same type of radiation that we find in a microwave oven. Microwave ovens cook people. It actually destroys tissue. That's why it cooks. And so it isn't safe. They just sell it to you as safe so that you'll buy it. They wouldn't sell it to you as something dangerous because then you wouldn't buy it. But every electronic device that you own basically has hidden warnings in it in the terms and conditions. It basically says keep the phone away from you by at least 10, 15 centimeters, for example. And there's been recent reports that these devices are actually exceeding the safety limits so that you can download movies faster. This technology is not safe. There are countless cancer clusters around cell towers. They're burying the information. They're covering up the dangers so that they can make money. They say it's safe and effective like the vaccine, but in fact, it's dangerous. As dangerous as Fukushima or Chernobyl in many ways because people don't understand what they're being exposed to. And so that exposure basically ramps up over time. It's in fact more dangerous than Fukushima because if you were in Fukushima or Chernobyl, you would protect yourself. But since they sell it to you as something safe and innocent, you don't protect yourself. And that actually makes this radiation more dangerous than Chernobyl or Fukushima because people are totally unaware of what they're being exposed to. And everybody knows the dangers of 5G and, and people are trying to take these towers down wherever they can through city councils uh, or other means. But the dangers are clear and even the Pentagon admits that radiation causes flu-like symptoms. And that's just the beginning stages of radiation sickness. It will lead to cancer and other diseases. And so everybody knows that this radiation is toxic and that it shouldn't be in our environment the way it is. But we're not going to get any type of cooperation from this new world order because their plan is to make people sick. That way they can call it disease X. That way they can call it a pandemic. But they locked everybody down so that they could roll out more of these cell towers and this 5G technology to make people even more sick so that they could just run with the COVID story forever. And we're not even talking about the vaccines. But right now we're just surrounded by this radiation and people are just absorbing it without any type of mitigation. And people are feeling sick. People have felt off since the rollout of 5G. And it's only going to get worse as they roll out more death towers and as they roll out 6G, which is coming soon. There's no question. The symptoms of acute radiation sickness would be just exactly like a terrible flu. At first they rolled out the 5G and then everybody got sick. There's no question how dangerous this technology is. But it gets even worse because basically they're using this technology to scrub people off the map. At first they're silencing people and then they're targeting people with this beam forming technology to basically purge society and to clean up or sanitize the demographics. Basically, if you're a Christian, a pure blood or a conservative, you're a target of this technology and it's driven by AI, and it's happening right now. When people get a whiff of it, they basically call it Havana Syndrome to try to make it seem like it's not happening here. But if you look at the 60-minute documentaries on the Havana Syndrome, it's definitely happening here. 
It's following people in their homes, to hotels, to schools, at work. This technology is hunting them wherever they go. And in the comments, it's basically nothing but people saying, me too, me too. People are being targeted all around the country, all around the world by this AI-driven technology that's targeting people for political reasons. It's the new social credit score of the 21st century. And it's here, it's now, it's happening. And basically, everyone is in danger. If you've tasted what these cell towers can do as a target, you know just how weaponized they are. But for the most part, they don't want you to know that you're being targeted. It's part of the silent weapons doctrine for silent wars. And so you have to pay attention to the red flags. Are you experiencing heart palpitations, chronic fatigue, recurring headaches, pain not associated with an injury, recurring back pains, and the like? If you're experiencing these symptoms and so much more, tinnitus, brain fog, etc., then you're being targeted by this system right now. So it's not just that there's 5G out there basically saturating the environment with radiation. On top of that, these things are actually targeting people that the system doesn't like. If Bill Gates doesn't like you, if Obama doesn't like you, if Hillary doesn't like you, if you've been flagged on Facebook or ScrewTube, this system is coming after you. And at first it creeps up on you, softens you up, and then it takes you out and makes it look like natural causes. It's basically the perfect weapon. And our cities have been embedded with this weaponized infrastructure. While we were busy scrolling, going from crisis to crisis, they were cr quietly rolling out this technology as smart technology and embedding it everywhere in our society, even in remote locations. There's no escaping the death grid right now. People have tried. They've tried running from city to city, state to state, country to country. There's no place to hide from this death grid. And so it's a nightmare scenario. And it's only going to get worse as they basically roll out their transhuman agenda, the brain chip and the like. And if you're not part of the hive, if you don't have your brain chip, they're going to come and exterminate you. And they're going to do it with death towers. And they're going to do it with next generation technology. And that's why people really need to understand what's going on. It's why we put together the book Transhuman Genocide. The Ultimate Guide to Directed Energy Weapons, EMF Shielding, and Artificial Intelligence. It goes over the scenario, it goes over the weapons, and it goes over the recipes to make military-grade EMF shielding for body armor and for a safe room or a bunker. You need to protect yourself from this system because this system is coming after you. There isn't a choice in the matter. You can either try to blend in like the sheeple, or you can start acting accordingly. And so we strongly recommend that you check out this book. It's on Amazon. You can read the first few chapters for yourself and decide if it's worth your time. You can even try it out for 30, day, 30 days and send it back if you don't like it. But basically, this book will tell you what's going on and how to protect yourself. And we're the main targets. This is why we're talking about it. If we want to survive what's coming, if we want to be able to fight this new world order, this world economic forum, this nightmare, this transhumanist agenda, then basically you're going to need to protect yourself from these weapons. And you don't have much time to do it because they've already begun. The weapons are out there and they have a target list. There is no question. The symptoms of acute radiation sickness. The video guy. There is no question that these towers are making people sick, that these towers are actually targeting people, that they're shooting invisible beams of radiation like the Starship Enterprise. They're beaming people with radiation to make people sick. There's no question that this is happening. This is all part of the 5G beam forming technology that's basically public information. There's no question that they're silencing people censoring people and there's no question that they're coming after people that they don't like like Trump like many others January 6 etc etc and there's no question that they're targeting people behind the scenes with these energy weapons that are invisible to the naked eye and that leave no evidence behind 
This is the perfect weapon. This is the perfect extermination program. It's the perfect genocide if you don't wake up to what's going on. So be sure to protect yourselves and be sure to pick up this book, Transhuman Genocide. It's on Amazon and on Patreon. If you're listening to this, you are the resistance.